Ever thought about the 1979 TV series Benson? Well, get ready for a bunch of funny, surprising, and sad facts. The show was a hit with its clever jokes and interesting characters. Do you have a special memory linked to this series? Or maybe there are lesser known facts that interest you. Share your stories and memories below. Keep watching for more insights into the show. One review praises the show for its humor and wit, recalling it as a memorable classic from the 1980s. Another review highlights the success of Benson as a spin-off from Soap, noting its charm and the lead actor's performance. Despite some repetitive plot elements typical of sitcoms, such as characters getting trapped together or old romantic plots, the review acknowledges the show's ability to deliver laughs, particularly through its wisecracking humor and memorable episodes like those featuring guest stars Danny Thomas. Overall, Benson is praised for its comedic value and enduring appeal. Benson's character underwent a change from his role in Soap. He was gruffer and more outspoken there, but in Benson, he softened. The producer aimed to make him more likable for a wider audience since he was now the main character. He had less conflict with other characters. The show introduced Jerry Seinfeld as an actor. He was relatively unknown at the time. Some believe the show helped people adjust to the idea of African-American politicians. It paved the way for the concept of a black president, which became a reality in later years. If the show continued into the 2010s or beyond, it's plausible it would follow President Benson Dubois. In 1979, the TV series Benson took a unique approach to comedy, intertwining it with themes of death. The show featured several storylines involving characters' deaths, often in peculiar or humorous ways. For instance, the governor's wife met a bizarre end, reportedly being consumed by horses while wearing a sugar-laden costume. In one episode, the main character encounters his deceased mother, facing a choice between returning to life or moving on to the afterlife. Opting to return after witnessing the potential hardship his friends would face without him, Benson later challenges death, represented as G. Reaper, to a death-themed trivial pursuit to save endangered children during a storm. While primarily remembered as a butler, the actress playing tart-tongued housekeeper Gretchen Krauss, despite her character's German accent, actually speaks fluent English in real life. Introduced without a surname on the show soap, Benson acquired the surname Dubois when transitioning to his own sitcom. Repetition of the name Benson is known for his role as a butler and the actress portraying Gretchen Krauss, assumed to be German due to her character's accent, speaks fluent English in real life. Originally introduced without a surname on soap, Benson acquired the surname Dubois when transitioning to his own sitcom. In the 2023 series Poker Face, a surprise cameo appearance was made, catching the attention of viewers as they watched the show on their laptops. This unexpected moment sparked excitement among fans, leading to discussions and speculations about the unexpected appearance. The buzz around the cameo even led to a modification of the show's theme song, turning it into a dynamic rock version titled Sucker Punch. This new rendition added an electrifying twist to the familiar tune, captivating audiences in a whole new way. Later on, both Robert Gillam and Inga Swenson, who portrayed Miss Krauss, shared the screen once again in the TV miniseries North and South. Their reunion delighted fans who remembered their dynamic chemistry from the show. Inga Swenson, an American of Scandinavian heritage, brought depth and authenticity to her portrayal of Miss Krauss, becoming a beloved character in the series. The intertwining of these actors' careers showcases the lasting influence of the show on television history, with its reach extending far beyond its original airing. The memory of the show lives on through memorable moments like the unexpected cameo and the talented cast's performances. James Noble, known for his long career in acting, passed away on March 28, 2016, at the age of 94. He was born in Dallas and studied with Lee Strasberg at the New York City Actors Studio. Noble performed in several notable Broadway productions such as A Far Country, Strange Interlude, and 1776. He also appeared in the movie Ten in 1979. On TV, he acted in soap operas like The Doctors and One Life to Live. From 1979 to 1986, he starred in a series that spun off from soap. Noble also appeared in shows like Fantasy Island, Heart to Heart, and Starsky and Hutch. After his time in Hollywood, Noble returned to Connecticut to focus on theater and became an active member of the Theater Artist Workshop. He later ventured into film production. 
Following her role on Guiding Light, the actress transitioned to primetime television with Soap before joining the spin-off series Benson in 1979. The series ended with an unresolved cliffhanger where Benson runs for governor against his boss, leaving the election results uncertain. Several endings were filmed, but none were satisfactory, resulting in the unresolved conclusion. Inga Swenson played a Scandinavian character on the TV show Soap as a villain, which was different from her role in Benson, where she's one of the main characters. Despite their frequent clashes in nearly every episode, she gets along well with Benson. Benson's last name wasn't revealed on Soap, but was later disclosed as Dubois in the show Benson. In the first episode, Marcy introduces him to the governor without mentioning his last name, tying him to Jessica's family. He had a close friendship with Missy Gold both during and after Benson. In the TV series Benson, the character's name changes from a last name in Soap to a first name. In Soap episode 122, a character addresses him as Mr. Benson, but in this spin-off, he becomes known by his first name. There's a story where Jerry Seinfeld, arriving at work one morning, discovered he had been fired when he found no script waiting for him. No one had bothered to inform him. Robert Guillaume, who played the character, has expressed a preference for his role in Soap over his portrayal in Benson. In the late 1970s, there was a TV series called Benson, which featured Tracy Gold's sister, Missy Gold. Missy was also on Growing Pains, which aired around the same time as Benson. Tracy, Missy's sister, auditioned for a role on Benson and later appeared as Katie's cousin. One regular actor on Benson was René Auberjonois. He later became Odo in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Another regular, Ethan Phillips, played Neelix in Star Trek Voyager. Robert Guillaume played the same character on both Soap and Benson. Inga Swenson and Caroline McWilliams were on both shows as well, though they played different roles each time. Catherine Hellman portrayed Jessica Tate on both series too. Hope that's clearer. Benson, a TV series from 1979, featured guest appearances by TV legend Danny Thomas in different roles. Thomas, father of producer Tony Thomas, brought his expertise to the show. Robert Guillaume's Emmy win as best actor in a comedy series marked a significant milestone as he became the first black performer to achieve this honor. For syndicated reruns, the opening title underwent edits to reduce time, removing non-essential shots, and shortening the theme song. Epilogues, though not crucial to the storyline, were also removed, sometimes leaving episodes to end abruptly. Benson's blend of comedy and social commentary resonated with audiences, making it a noteworthy addition to television history. Benson, a TV series that aired for seven years, featured characters with military backgrounds. Throughout the show, references were made to his service in Korea, while the governor's military history was linked to the Navy during World War II. In real life, Robert Gillam served in the U.S. Army before pursuing acting, while James Noble served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. Despite its long run, the show didn't get the same praise as Soap, which was on for four years. Soap is often called one of the best shows ever made and did well in ratings, unlike Benson. Benson's ratings were okay for its seven-year run, but never reached the top 30 consistently. One important part of the storyline was the character of Katie, the governor's daughter, who was based on then first daughter Amy Carter. Overall, the show had a respectable run on television, but it didn't get the same acclaim or ratings as Soap. Nonetheless, it's still remembered as an important part of television history.